Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and I want to post a follow-up video, a follow-up review video for the Schwinn IC4 indoor exercise bike. Now, if you've been a subscriber for a long time, you may have seen my assembly video when I bought the bike and many additional videos after I assembled the bike and started using it. I got this in June of 2020. So right when, you know, right after everything started locking down and the gyms were closing and people started getting fat, I had to say, man, I'm not going to do that. So I had to get a bike and well, I didn't have to get a bike, but you know, I didn't want to let myself get fat. So I did that and I got a bike. I've owned many exercise bikes in the past. I've owned the the ones that use what are called the friction pads. Those were older technology around the around the wheel in the front. They had pads and depending upon how how much they pressed on the wheel, that's what would make it harder to pedal the bike or easier to pedal the bike. Friction pad bikes are problematic number 1 because the pads wear unevenly. Number two, they can produce unpleasant odors. And most importantly, it's just another component that will fail, uh, you know, continuously. And you're tasked with having to continuously replace those friction pads. And the other problem is if an exercise bike that uses friction pads is discontinued, you may find yourself with a, with a hunk of useless junk. But even when the friction pad bikes worked well, it was never a consistent experience. With this, the Schwinn IC4, and I'm going to get the camera right up in here, it uses magnet, magnet, see those red things? Magnetic resistance. So there's nothing making physical contact with the flywheel. Why is that good? Well, it's good because you get consistent and repeatable resistance. You can trust what it's going to feel like when you're pedaling at a different, at, at, a, at various uh, uh, settings. And, and obviously, it's easy to make it easier to reduce the resistance counterclockwise or increase the resistance clockwise. Minimalist design, you know, just a it feels solid. You know, if you've if you've ridden road bikes, you know that feel. You know, you want something that feels reassuring. And I used to ride road bikes until I got hit by a car. And uh, you know, ever since the texting while driving became prevalent, I said new, new, new new more road bikes for me. And I switched to uh, indoor cycling only. Now I do other things to work out. I walk, I backpack, I hike. Um, you know, I'm not only a cyclist, but when I do, it's indoors now with the Schwinn IC4. I'm filming this on November the, let's see, today would be November the, uh, let's see, the 24th was Thanksgiving. 25th was Friday, 26th was Saturday, November the 27th of 2022. This thing has held up exceptionally well. I've had no issues. I mean, this is a rock, this for me has been a rock solid bike. And again, it was easy to assemble. Check out my assembly video from June of 2020. God, time flies, man. But I think to myself, had I not gotten this IC4, how fat might I have become? Because this is a, uh, you know, this is definitely a core component of my cardiovascular workout routine. You know, it's not good enough just to do strength training. It's not good enough to only do cardio. You know, you need to do both for optimal results. And this is a reliable piece of indoor cardio equipment. Now, one of the things that makes it so cool, and check out my separate videos where I demonstrate this, but I use it in conjunction with Apple Fitness Plus. You might also use the Peloton app. You might use Zwift. You might use Full Gas. You may say, heck, I don't even want to use an app. You may plop your iPhone, Android phone, or iPad, or Android tablet right there and, and stay motivated while you work out. You may flip on a television and watch your favorite TV show or YouTube channel while you work out. Or you may just stare at a wall, and that's perfectly acceptable. You know, or you could be fancy. You know, you could have a, you might have a beach house or a lake house, or you might have a mountain house. You may be staring out your window at an awesome view. Now, I don't have a view. I'm just in here with a, in a windowless office. But, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's going to use it a different way. But regardless of how somebody uses it, what matters is that this thing is rock solid. Very adjustable, highly adjustable. 
Obviously, mine's in its dedicated spot, but if I need to move it, it's got these wheels. Now, I wouldn't use these wheels on a nice floor. I would probably just pick it up. Speaking of that, it's easy to pick up unless you are unless you can't lift a significant amount of weight. Uh, but if you can't, what you could do, you could pop the seat assembly off. You could pop the handlebar assembly off. And at that point, in essence, that would be what you would be carrying is that part there. So it's easy to move around if you need to move it around. It's well built, so it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart after you move it around. You know, if you dealt with cheap uh, fitness equipment where you feel like, well, it's like I might want to work out today, but I'm afraid if I work out today, you know, how many more days or how many more weeks might it be before that, you know, before that fitness equipment completely fails? You know, you don't want an unreliable piece of fitness equipment potentially, potentially deterring you from working out. You want something that's reliable. You want something that feels good. You want something that, you know, it's, it's a solid piece of equipment and you focus on your workout. You don't have to worry about wearing your equipment out prematurely. Again, everybody's experience is different. But like I said, I've used this since June of 2020 and it's late November of 2022 now. So this is the only exercise bike that I would buy. Um, and I hope to never have to buy one again. If this thing continues to, to, uh, to churn along like it has, I won't have the need for another exercise bike. You know, again, the high points, magnetic resistance, outstanding build quality, very quiet because of the magnetic resistance. I put it on a rubber mat simply because I had the rubber mat in my old studio because uh, I had a kind of nice floor. This is just paint. I technically wouldn't even have to put it on the mat because it's not noisy. But if you do put it on the mat, it can further reduce the small amount of noise that it does make, which is next to nothing. Subscribe and check out my IC4 videos playlist in here for yourself. But, uh, you know, the main reason I have the mat is just it'll collect the sweat. And then when I, you know, when I, uh, w when I mop, I can just mop the mat. But you would never, I mean, people may, I would never use this on carpet because when you work out, especially longer duration workouts, you're probably going to be dripping sweat. And you don't want to drip that sweat into your carpet because then that carpet's going to stink. So if you use a mat, you know, that's, that's going to make it, uh, it, it's just the way to do it. I mean, you know, use common sense here. Also, shoes. That's my wife's shoes. That's my shoes. I don't like the shoes that clip to pedals because I went over... I had a bad wreck, a catastrophic experience, and I was using clipless pedals on a mountain bike. I've developed a fear of clipless pedals. Uh, I developed a fear of clipless pedals in 1999. I've never used them since. But if you do like clipless pedals, on one side of the pedal, it's got that, and on the other side, it's got toe cages. I prefer to use the toe cages with these special shoes that don't clip, but they're just very flat sole. You can find them as well as the mat and the bike. Expand this video's description and click the link there and you can find it all there. But it's just a really good, easy to assemble, high quality, no nonsense bike. There's no bling and eye candy on this thing that's like, you know, trying to sell you something and and try to, you know, in, in the customer's mind, try to inflate the price tag. No, this is just a no-nonsense quality design. Again, you got the water bottle cages there. It's kind of a, a semi-hard uh, material, so it's not that really, you know, the really flimsy foam stuff that you might find on exercise equipment that rips and stuff. This has a very kind of semi, more hard than soft feel to it. So I really like those, and they're very easy to wipe clean when you're sweaty. Just get you a... Um, get you a towel with some hot water and that's that's what i do uh the seat or if you want to be a cycling person and call it a saddle dude why are you calling it a seat that's a saddle man well whatever you call it it's very comfortable i find it to be comfortable but everybody's butt prefers a different saddle so if you don't like it the good thing is it's a standard bicycle seat you could swap it out yourself if you're knowledgeable or what you could do you could just pop off the entire seat assembly, take it to a local bicycle shop and be like, dude, my seat doesn't feel good, man. Do you have a seat you'd recommend? Yes, sir, we do. 
And then you could ask them, if you bought the seat, could you attach it? And then you could just bring it home and attach it back to your IC4. Thanks, thanks. Uh, uh, be sure to <laughs> be sure to remember, uh, yeah, Irix guy suggested that. I mean, that's a quick, quick little tip. Now, I personally, I don't have any desire to replace the saddle, but you may. And again, everybody's comfort preference is different. But it's just a very smooth ride. You know, the high points, easy to assemble, easy to move around if you need to do so. Exceptional build quality, very quiet, smooth and predictable resistance without any friction pads to wear out over time. Um, affordable. I mean, it's, you know, you can get cheap exercise bikes, but you get what you pay for. You can also get bikes that are a ton more expensive than this, that there's nothing, in my opinion, that justifies the additional expense. So this, to me, again, in 2022, is still the best indoor exercise bike. So, you know, I welcome your questions. I welcome your comments. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and check out my Schwinn IC4 videos playlist. I'm obsessed with this thing because, again, I'm not the most fitness-looking dude, but this thing has kept me from getting fat. So, we had people say, dude, you're still fat. Yeah, I'm a little bit chubby, but that's just because I like to eat and drink. I mean, I, I do what I like to do. But if I didn't work out as much as I do, I'd be huge. So, you know, it's it's worth, it's worth been worth every cent that I paid for it. Um, and it's, it's uh, I highly recommend it. Any questions that you have, comment below. Again, if you're shopping for the bike, the shoes like I use, the mat like I use, and other accessories, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find it all there. Thanks in advance, and most importantly, best of luck with your personal fitness goals. Y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.